Hey everybody, and welcome to the The Best Channel. The U.S. Air Force is one of the deadliest military might in the world. It has the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning airplanes. Its fleet will soon be filled with newly baptized F-15 EECUG's Evil E warplanes. In fact, the Air Force recently took delivery of the second F-15 EX fighter aircraft from a consortium led by Boeing. This F-15 EX Eagle Eye is the second 4.5 Gen aircraft to join the Air Force fleet after the first one was delivered at Eglin Air Force Base in March. These two F-15 EX Eagle IIs are part of the first lot of eight fighter aircraft contracted by the Air Force in July 2020 for a price of nearly $1.2 billion. According to Colonel Ryan Messer, as per a quote by Northwest Florida Daily News, the tail flash has the initials OT to signify it's part of operational testing. As per the contract, Boeing will take care of designing, developing, building, testing and verifying the new F-15EX aircraft, which was recently christened as Eagle O. The $1.02 billion deal also covers spares, support equipment, training materials, technical data and support. The purchase money was included in the Air Force's fiscal year 2020 budget. It's part of the overall indefinite delivery indefinite quantity contract that comes with a ceiling value of nearly $23 billion. Boeing's $1.2 billion contract called for the delivery first two F-15 EX Eagle IIs in the second quarter of 2021, with the remaining bound for delivery in 2023. However, Boeing-led industry team delivered the first two Eagle IIs ahead of schedule, resulting to contract to delivery time of just eight months. The first eight F-15 EX Eagle IIs will be deployed to Eglin Air Force Base to serve as test units. The F-15 EX is inferior to fifth-gen fighters that could outsmart modern air defenses with their stealth feature in sensor fusion. Nonetheless, Air Force sees the F-15 EX Eagle Leo as the most affordable and quickest way to update its capabilities especially because the F-15 platform requires minimal transitional training and possibly no infrastructure changes.